What is up, heroes? It's Simonite Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Conquer's Bad Fur Day Blind. In the last episode, we... what did we do? We finished up that Bat's Tower, I believe, and that was that was quite the world. I actually enjoyed that one a lot, and when we came out, I realized that, well, the, the Hive had been stolen again, so I think that's what we're going to go for next, and hope for the best. I wonder if that monster is going to come out and get us again, right? Or if we're actually going to be able to access the world now. I don't know. But we will certainly see soon enough. Is this area open yet? No? Okay. I don't know what's going to open that. Right? We haven't interacted with any characters or anything that have alluded to opening that either. Alright, let's hope for the best. Hey, we can actually go in. This, this reminds me of Banjo so much. Can I jump over to these? No, those definitely look like background. Alright, camera. We'll just let it do its thing, rather than try to adjust it ourselves. Have they... Have they taken over the turret, or are we supposed to man the turret in here? Oh my goodness. This is hilarious. You know what this reminds me of? Have any of you guys played Metroid Prime? There's a boss pretty early on that has a machine where... Aw, oh man. Did I, like, overheat or something? Why? Hello? Um, there's a boss where pretty early on... Are they really just coming out of one side? Am I... Oh! I didn't even see the sort of mini-map at the top that indicates where they are relative to me. That is good to know. Come on. There are some guys getting close on this side, though. Oh, I am overheated. So it's good to know that one that that can happen at all. Um, but yeah, there's a boss where these like bee-like things fly around you in circles, and then occasionally they'll stop and go in for the kill. This is exactly what that reminds me of. It's pretty cool that we actually get to man this. Um, it's probably for the the viewers that get motion sick easily. Not the most amenable part of gameplay, but certainly not the end of the world. And it's relatively straightforward gameplay, so it's not like you're missing a whole lot, admittedly. But it's pretty cool, and the music is rather dramatic. We have to... Oh, we probably didn't overheat. It sounded like we had to refill on ammo or something. Can I get this bee? I'm having a really difficult time. Or rather, they're wasps, right? And they are swarmed all around me. Do I have some, like, area of effect type attack? Because so far, this does not seem to be an effective means of going about it. Yeah, because we are getting, we are getting bodied. There are bees all over. Or I should say wasps. There's one in front of me. There's a little bit of a controller vibration that happens when one is approaching me, I think. So that's gonna know. Yep, from behind. Oh, I wasn't able to turn around in time. That's a bummer. Reload. There's one more. Are we done? Is that it? Or another wave? Are we living? Mr. Screw, hurry, hurry. I think there's a bit of a lull in the waves. Hop out, get in the hive now, quickly. No time to lose. <laughs> All right, out we go. Let's carry the hive. Hey, some wise guys trying to steal our nice new hive again. It's the same little bastard. Come on, boys. <laughs> uh oh, we gotta run. I love that they basically say the same things in the same order, and they just throw on again at the end. I just realized though, we have very little HP. I think we actually only have one chocolate bar square left, which does not bode well for us. However, it seems like so long as I follow a good path and don't run on any slow terrain, I should be okay. So that is what we're going to do. Seriously? I literally was holding the, the move button as soon as I walked out the door there, so I don't really know what more I could have done in that scenario, but let's hope we don't have to redo the turret part of it again. Okay. 
So at the very least, we'll have a better chance of doing it this time. And thankfully, they don't make me redo the turret segment, which makes this segment a lot more doable, right? Because uh, I'm, not, I'm not losing HP or losing chocolate from that segment. And while cool, it was a little bit long, but... Alright, let's run. We gotta go, Conker. We gotta go. Okay, there we go. We're moving a little bit more quickly this time around. I'm surprised that wasn't like a whole new world, right? I thought that was going to be an, an entire level, not just one little segment of the overworld that we can enter for one little quest. But either way, it's looking pretty good for us now. All right, Queen Bee, relying on you. You're the real sharpshooter around here. Uh oh. Oh my goodness! Bringing out the big guns. Chew on this, buzz suckers. Yeah, they're getting straight up incinerated. Thank you, <laughs> You're welcome. Once again, I would like to thank you for your good service and noble contribution to the bee community. I somewhat begrudgingly present you with these. That's four hundred dollars, right? That's right. Conquer drives a hard bargain. Bro wants some of us those. <gasps> yeah, most fun do it. <laughs> Alright. Good job. I hope that's the last thing that happens to us. What could possibly go wrong now? Here's to a wonderful year. What could possibly go wrong now? Famous last words. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I kind of want to go back to that area and see if there was anything else I could interact with or if there's anything more I can interact with now. I also thought in the midst of all that firepower that this door would be blasted open or something, but nope, that doesn't seem to be the case. Hmm. I don't think we got damage there, so I don't think we need to heal. Alright, well, at least we can go in here again. But I don't think I'm going to find much I can really work with. None of these things on the side seem like something I can actually jump into. I'll try once, right? Might as well. Don't want to leave a stone unturned. Yeah, maybe if I had... Oh, I lost all of my health. That's right, this isn't... I've been playing Star Wars uh, Jedi Fallen Order recently. And you don't just take a little bit of damage when you fall, uh, like in that game. In this game, you just lose a life. But yeah, I don't think we're going to find anything else in here. So that brings up the question of, well, where to next? Right? We were just in the Bat's Tower area, weren't we? Up this river. I love this music, by the way. I don't know, I probably already mentioned it at least once, but I'm all over my house. I just listen to this music. My brothers, my parents, they're getting so familiar with it. They're like, oh, Nick must be around, and... Let's see, you're still stuck in a rather unfortunate situation. And I think we finished everything in here, right? Again, I wish there was a screen that told us how much money we could get in each area, but we have quite a bit of money. Oh, there's no pier anymore? Oh, that's right, the, the Jaws guy ate it, right? The dogfish. Yeah, I mean, I think we're, I think we're good here. We could get the extra life while we're here, but... How much money do we have? $2,210. Quite a bit. And if I recall correctly, I think I saw, like, an achievement or something for $2,310. So we've got to be pretty close. To at least some... I don't know, big number. Do I die if I go down here? Seems like it. I, I think I tested that once already, but I don't remember. So, that's okay. Oh, and they take us all the way back here. Alright, not the end of the world. And there's nothing down there. Okay, well, I'll get this extra life and see if I can climb this tower now. I remember when I got to the top last time, they basically said I needed a lot more money. 
And I think I've gotten quite a bit more money since that time, so... Let's hope for the best. Yeah, and getting over these guys, I'm just gonna do my... High jump, and then... Nope. And then the plan was to high jump and go over, but I need to be really careful and anticipate where they're gonna show up, because if I don't, they show up so quickly and are so quick to attack you that I have to walk so carefully. There, there it is. All right, over we go. That's right, there's like a barrel or something up here, right? Where is it? There's bound to be another. There's bound to be another. I was gonna say, I'm just gonna preemptively <laughs> do this. All right, let's try this again. There you go. Now what? Huh? Wanna go for a ride? Uh, not really. Not really what? A ride. A ride, yeah. Let's go for a ride. <laughs> I wanna take you for a ride. What are we, what are we doing with the barrel though, is the real question. Can I go in the, the windmill? Oh my goodness. So that did not, in the slightest, control like I expected. <laughs> so we've got to do something with this barrel. The question is, where are we going to take the barrel once we, um... Oh my goodness. Forgot again. I wish there were a way to, like, just kill these things. I guess maybe that's the point, is I need to do that, and on my way down, I'll end up crushing all of them or something. But yeah, that, that barrel did not in the slightest control like I expected, so it's going to take me a good minute or so. What? Oh, come on. No, don't throw me off. Don't throw me off. Yeah, so let's try and figure out how I can control this. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. So this is, uh, something. But I think I'm making it work. It's, uh... I don't even know how to describe the tank, or the controls. They're not tank controls. Oh, I almost fell off there. <clears throat> now where? <laughs> okay, so it opens up that little area. Well, that works. Poor Conker. Knocked out from the impact. Now it's nighttime. That's not good. You wanna spin out for some time? It's night. Hmm. It's night. Okay, and I didn't see an extra life over here. I wonder... Honestly, I mean, I know where we're supposed to go now, right? But I'm curious, what does this place look like at night, right? We saw it briefly in the cutscene at the beginning of the game, but since then we haven't... It's always been, you know, happy-go-lucky in this area, which we don't even really know what this land is called, do we? I just know that the song that plays here is called Windy. So I'm a little bit curious to see what this place looks like at night. If there's anything interesting out of the ordinary. I would imagine, just knowing from the game so far, that there's probably nothing too exceptional about it being at night. There's probably not going to be anything hidden or, or the likes of that. But it is pretty cool to see. Closed back at 10... And personally, I mean, I, I enjoy, like, horror-type environments, so this is something pretty neat to explore. I wonder if there are any enemies here, either. Yep, the enemies are still here. And the water looks really bright now. That's pretty neat. But, okay. Cool. I'm glad we got to see a little bit of what this place looks like at night. That's pretty neat. And now we'll swim on over to the new area we can go to, I guess. Although it seems like jumping out and <laughs> just hovering might actually be faster than drifting our way down the river. So that's what we'll do. Oh, we can hear them snoring. That's really funny. I wonder what's going to be the theme of this area. I mean, like an underwater mine of some sort? Oh, and we're caved in? Uh oh. No. Guess I'm not going back that way. All right. So we can go to the right here. I'd imagine this is maybe where I like respawn or something. Can I look up? Hmm. Nothing particularly interesting, but I guess we'll just keep on going this way then. 
what is this area? This kind of reminds me of the entrance area, right? And the, are those the catfish? What are the catfish doing here? This area reminds me of like the beginning of the game. What's going on up here? I saw Greg over there. Well, don't worry, we'll check it out. Wait, can I not? I guess I can't go this way. For now, or maybe forever. We'll see. But I see the catfish and I see Greg. So I guess we'll chat with them real quick and see what's going on. Maybe they have a clue of where we are. Oops. All right, let's actually get up here this time. I don't bloody believe it. I've got fish versions of the little bastards now. Come here. <laughs> That's right, he hates cats. Oh, I've the little f***ers again. Huh. I got your number, mate. It's down to two for you. Ah, there's a one -er. <laughs> Yes, not long for you now, you little prick. Okay. Can we, can we talk with you? Can we hit you with a frying pan? Doesn't seem so. Can we interact with the catfish? Nope, doesn't seem so. I would imagine I need to climb up that area, but in the interest of exploration, I would like to see what's going on down here. I would bet that it's going to take us back to that entrance area that I initially explored and, and looked around in. But we'll find out in just a moment. Yeah, so that is going to be the case. Is that a switch that I can pull? <clears throat> it is. Interesting. Ooh. Is this place supposed to be like the scary place? We're gonna go into Mad Monster Mansion. Yeah, I bet that's the theme of this place. Pretty cool. Got a lantern. And we'll run on across. And head on up towards those doors we just unlocked. There's no music, which is understandable given the theme of this place, but... Oh, you again. Why don't you piss off? Can't you see I'm I was trying, you? man. I suppose you want to go up there now, do you? Where there's lots of money, no doubt. One of those rich ancestors of yours. Bloody undead. Un-bloody dead. <laughs> I mean, it's even worse than bloody cats. Undead. What's the bloody point? Um... You may be needing a bit of help, so I've got this. What? I hate the undead. Hate them. The only thing that kills them. Shot to the head. Nothing more, nothing less. Here, put in that pissing frying pan, that's for sure. Take it. I mean, the frying pan's a low bar, but uh, it's really funny. I was just watching a Resident Evil movie the other day. We got Leon going. Shoot them in the head. Found a zombie, though. Still, if it gets on his nerves, then that's all right by me. And what was that about an ancestor? Undead ancestor. Hmm. Well, if he's undead, then technically that makes him kind of dead. Which means I should get the inheritance. I mean, how bad can a handful of dead people be? They're dead. <laughs> undead. Oh, Conker. Now, let's see. Shotgun. I think it's one of those B-pressing moments, don't you? All right. We'll hit B, then. Hmm. Let's go. Okay. Shotgun in hand. We are ready to go. Oh, so taking that out does it, but how do I actually use it? Oh, okay, so that's how I use it. Can I actually, like, aim with this? I can. I even have a sight that I can use to aim. That's actually hilarious. What happens if I aim at Greg? I think I wouldn't be surprised if the game considered that option and was like, for the player that actually shoots at Greg, here's a little cutscene you're treated to, or some dialogue where he just gets more upset with you. Wait, am I strafing? Yeah, it looks like I'm strafing when I move to the left and the right. Okay, now I'm not. Interesting. Alright, well, regardless, <clears throat> my camera is awfully zoomed in. I can't really seem to do much about it, but... Here come the undead, it seems. Oh my. That's... That's pretty intense. A lot more intense than I expected, actually. The eyes hanging out and stuff. How many... Oh, what? So, they... Are taking... What? These guys are gonna... 
eat me alive. Because they can crawl. So, this might be a little bit more difficult than I expected, actually. We have one more tail left. I'll take the gun out. And it seems like this is going to be a little bit of a guided experience. Where we walk through and they're coming for us. The animation of that guy on the right is interesting. What? How did that miss? Come on. I wonder how many hits they take, or am I expected to like run past them? Seriously? I would bet that I'm expected to stun and then run past, because they are sponging a lot of hits. It also seems like they have quite a bit of time in between shots where they're invulnerable again. Those two guys, yeah, they never even stopped. So that confirms at least that, in my head, <laughs> that I need to stun them when necessary and otherwise run past them. So let's give it a go. Hope for the best. See, look, I'm strafing now. Why is that doing that now but not before? Hmm. Either way, I guess we'll, we'll run. Run, conquer, run. Oh, no. All right, get off me, guys. Run, run. What? <laughs> Where did you come from? And now we're getting attacked by you. Lovely. And now we're going to get attacked by you. What is going on? How in the world am I expected to get past this? Yeah, so I mean, clearly running is the strategy here, but now I'm kind of screwed as soon as I run into another wave of undead. I don't hear them anymore. I'm obviously not going to look behind me, though. Potentially mess up. I wonder if there's cash hidden here, right? I would think to explore the area. What do I what do I do now? Is there something hidden behind these tombstones or what? Mushrooms. What do they say? R.I.P. Mrs. I C Nuts, Mr. C Man, <laughs> Mrs. P Stayed, Mr. I B Floppy. Yikes. This game. This game, I tell you guys. So the question is, what are we going to do here? Maybe, um, if I put the gun away, I'll be able to do something. Can I, like, just shoot the door open? I wouldn't be surprised if that were the solution in a game like Conquer. But it doesn't seem to be the case. And I guess, honestly, I probably should just do this going forward, is utilize my mobility running around like this. Is there anything else? Anything over that way? No. What if I jump on you? Again, I don't think Conquer is a game that really requires... Oh my goodness, I can't even believe I took fall damage from that. Really? Really? And now we have a game over. Is this a new one? Yes. Much better. I think that's a squirrel fur? Whispering my milk anymore. Is that the case? We need bus. And we won't be getting the duct tape. <laughs> oh no. Yikes. I don't think we've seen this one yet. That's kinda sad. But alright, well I'm game over. Sorry, Conker. I was doing my best, I promise. See, so yeah, I think rather than actually try to shoot them, I think I'm gonna just try to run past them and explore. I would not be surprised, however, if I needed to shoot all of them in order to get past slash open the doors. So I'm not really sure what the best strategy is going to be here. Because they are they are coming for me. I wonder how far they'll actually go, though. What does this say? Mr. R. Soul? Mrs. I. P. Freely? Oh, what? It went through the fence? Here I was thinking I was safe because of the fence. Either way though, it seems like I am relatively safer and significantly more mobile this way. That's for sure. So maybe the, the strategy is going to be to try to isolate them one by one and then go from there. So let's see here. There's going to be one over here. Actually, there are going to be a couple over here. Let's see here. Oh my goodness. So difficult to aim with this. <laughs> so we'll run this way. Bait you into coming after me. 
Is there a point at which they'll go away? Like, they'll stop being interested in me, or what? I don't know. Oh, you know what? I have to aim for the head. That's... <laughs> I'm letting my boy Leon down. Come on. There we go. Okay, so I have to I have to aim for the head. That's why the two that disappeared were the ones that were crawling on the ground. So that makes a lot more sense. All right, well, I'm glad that I have that clarity, and that's actually my bad. I didn't realize <clears throat> how effectively I was expected to aim. I can't see it all. Wait, do I not even have my gun out? I guess not. All right, we'll get some distance again. There's another one? There are more? Okay, run away, run away, get some distance, I can't see. All right, let's aim. Oh my goodness, more of them? Let's see here, how far away <clears throat> can I actually aim effectively and shoot them? All right, we got you. I'll have you know, back in the day, I quickscoped in Call of Duty. <laughs> It's annoying that there's like a pretty long animation for putting the gun away because if you want to run away it means well you're gonna have to try to do so without actually putting the gun away which is not very effective wow there are so many of them i bet especially given that we've started to kill a few and now well there are more of them to fight i think this is what we're gonna have to do in order to get to the next level area to unlock this door It's over, zombies. I have the high ground. Any Star Wars fans? Oh my goodness. <sighs> Wish I could turn up, like, the sensitivity. See, like, there's no way we're gonna be able to run away. Well, at least effectively. Just holding this gun. Again, strafing. For whatever reason. Can we zoom out, please? I'm sure there are people behind me, too. Or zombies, rather. Are you dead? Did I not get enough of your head? Okay, I did, I did get enough of your head. Good. Let's see. Where are these friends? Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Alright, well, that wasn't enough. But we effectively put the gun away, so we're going to be able to run away. Whew. And there's not even any chocolate around here, either. How about those sound effects, though? Am I right? Aw, oh, darn it. Come on. We only have one chocolate left, and then... We're stuck doing it again. Come on. Alright. We've got one on the left, and one sort of in the center-ish. Alright. And then we've got you on the ground. We've got you off in the distance. Can I snipe you from here? I doubt it. What's with that sort of, like, little stutter step, you know? It seems they are slowly but surely coming my way, whether I like it or not. This guy's getting awfully close. That might not be enough, actually. We'll see if they keep attacking me from the ground. Doesn't seem so. Alright, one of them sounded a lot closer than I expected. Yep. <laughs> there you have it, guys. From the side. Oh man. Conkers doing doing the classic Conkers. Funny idea. Fun comedy. Cool cutscene. Gameplay less than fun. <laughs> but um we will do what we can. Take it take the gun out. No 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 no. Oh my goodness. And we're we're locked in there, so we gotta find some other way to run away. Let's see, what's a good way to do this? They're catching up, so we'll run away. Good, like, 10, 15 minutes of this episode might be me running away from and trying to shoot zombies. Alright, that worked. I mean, I've played my fair amount of Call of Duty zombies. So... I don't think I'm a, a squirrel to be messed with in this context. I really don't, Rareware. So here comes some more. And I'd bet that they're on my tail, but I can't see, because if I turn around, I have to turn around if I want to change the camera. 
Uh, I think there's probably one on my left. Yep. From the, the fence. That should take care of you. How about you? These are all squirrel zombies too, it seems. So I saw one more on the left as well. We're gonna run from over there. Oh, one! There are three over there! That's a lot. So we'll run this way for now. I don't hear any spawning over here, which is nice. So we can take out our gun. And I guess we'll start heading back. I don't hear them. I hear one now, okay. Where are they coming from? Okay, I don't think there are any from like behind. They don't sound too close yet. You know, maybe maybe if I had my Astros or my Turtle Beaches on, I'd be able to better echolocate. Oh, run away, run away, run away. <laughs> I do have nice headphones on, but I'm just making all of the MLG jokes. So let's see here. Am I relatively safe up here? No. I think I'm better off here for now. So let's aim for you. And we've got these guys coming. Am I supposed to take out like a certain number of them? Because it just seems like they don't stop spawning. And, uh, you know, I don't want to be doing this for an hour if I really don't have to. Really? Of all the ones, like, that's the one I... <laughs> I didn't get either of the ones on the ground that I think actually can be killed. Okay. We'll snipe from afar. See if it's effective. This is a shotgun, so... As those of you who play Call of Duty would know. Or just have any gun-relevant experience. You know, Boy Scout or, or something. It's not going to be incredibly effective from a long distance. Is that enough? Oh my goodness, I think it was enough, guys. We've cleared out the zombies. And Greg is ready to meet us. I'm so glad. Are there any tombstones we missed? I'm not sure. Are there more zombies? Ah, not bad, I suppose. That's another 12 souls. Right, come on. In you go. And I think you'll find that you're the one who'll be needing a will. Inheritance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Greg. All right, so we'll climb on. Oh my goodness! Thank you, thank you for that game. Out of nowhere, no reason to expect that <laughs> in the slightest. And now we're back at zero lives. All right, we will carefully, carefully walk forward. They seem. A little bit taller than the the pink ones on the hill. We'll walk really slowly, because that's what the game wants. Okay. No, 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 no. I slid into it. Don't die, don't fall. Come on, Conquer. Can I shoot them? That would be nice. Well, that seemed less than effective. And I can't aim any higher to aim to shoot in the head, so we will move on like this. Slowly, slowly, slowly walk a little bit, slide a little bit, walk a little bit, slide a little bit. I like the background. It's pretty ni nice. I wish even if there was just like some little like hole in the ground or something that would indicate where they were going to be. So I could walk relatively quickly for a little bit and then just know when I'm getting into like a danger zone, you know? I feel like that would be nicer. Also, why is there like a baby crying in the background? I mean, it's like classic spooky stuff, right? Anything with, it's like child, children singing, right? Like a nursery rhyme or something is always, it's, it's a horror trope. And it works. Oh, there was a mini one there. What's the deal with that? Is there gonna be one last one? There's gonna be one last one. There wasn't one last one? Come on, Conquer. I was totally expecting that. All right, so we've made it to some sort of like shack, right? Is there something hidden on the sides? No, again, this isn't Banjo Kazooie. Do I hear somebody like heaving? What is going on in here? Oh my goodness, that portrait! <laughs> that portrait, like an evil undead conquer. Uh. 
Welcome to my house. Please enter of your own free will and bring with you some of the happiness that is so evident in your face and so lacking in my own. Yikes. Oh, get that kid in there. Okay, I'll just cross this threshold here. Hmm, I'm sure that's of some significance. <laughs> He's a vampire. Anyway, <laughs> I fair do. What? Nothing. So, uh, seldom have visitors in these parts. Uh, what, being out here in the middle of nowhere? On such a cold and gloomy night. Pray, follow me. You look as if you're in need of sustenance. And I have many things to eat and drink. Pray, follow me. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. Voice acting is so funny. I'm gonna thick of chocolate anyway. This way. Conquer right, running right into the trap. This is totally a vampire based on Dracula. In some part, uh, state of repair. We're having a few refurbishments doing at the moment, and I was planning to have all this not true to make one big. Uh, but anyway, well, if I think so. If I just take the conservatory for the person. I'm sure Conquer is uh, really intrigued. In my dining. Room. And all of your refurbishment plans. Oh man, they're treating Conquer like a king, fattening him up. More vine. So he's priming for prime for the eating themselves. It's totally like a vampire Conquer. Oh my goodness. Ah, I, I, you're not drinking then? No. I never drink vine. <laughs> So, oh, um, um, who's this guy here? He looks, uh, he looks like you. Really? My, uh, forefather. He was a crusader in a war of long ago. Went with the allies, with the squirrels and the panthers. That union, alas... Was not successful. So there was a war? Yeah, and he had really stupid teeth as well. Didn't they have any dentists back then? Yeah. Who are you to criticize me or my ancestors? Whose blood runs into these veins? You are not of noble birth and never feel it. Wow. Me. <laughs> well, that was a freak out. <sighs> Three. Accept my apologies. Oh my goodness, that conqueror in the background. About my ancestors, I get so that squirrel in the background. Somewhat touchy. Oh, that's all right. I know how it is. Family. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you been here long? Mm. About three hundred years. Really? <laughs> it's quite a big family then. No, it's just me. Oh. No. The were squirrel. Ah, the children of the night. What sweet music they make. Music? The howling. What is that noise? It sounds like somebody's braying on the door. <laughs> they don't like you either, I take it. Oh, shit. The villagers again. Sounds like there is more of them this time. This could be your lucky night, Conker. I was going to kill you and drink your blood. But now I think I'm needing your help. Pray. Come here. Just casually is um, like... <laughs> can we just go back to the <laughs> drinking my blood bit? What's all that up? I said, come here. <laughs> the dynamics between the characters are so funny. Uh, it's delicious. And familiar. Yeah. So he's in his bat form, I guess. I think you are my great, 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 great grandson. Conquer. 
Welcome to the family. Wait, did we, did we just become a vampire? Welcome indeed. Did he drink our blood? Little task for you. These little uh, villagers occasionally pop up to my establishment for have a little fun and see if they can't kill me. It's never worked yet. As you can see, I've had a few minor alterations to the house. The house of grind. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And we have the pumps. And we have some other bits and pieces. It is your it's pretty duty, gruesome. Your errand, indeed, the whole point of your existence as of this day is to fetch me the villagers, put them in the grinder, and let me feed them. You may feed too if you wish, but only later. Well? Oh yes, I forgot. You can only speak like what you are. A bat. <laughs> wow. Fell chop chop. Fetch me the villagers. I am hungry. So shout out to those prints on the wall. And so now we are... We're a bat. I'm Batman. He's probably not the first person to do that. And listen to this music, guys. This is pretty great. This is pretty awesome. I'm liking this. So I can jump. And it looks like maybe I can fly afterwards, but I'm not super convinced at the moment. The music is so epic. I love that they just like threw in the whole vampire. The whole vampire dealio. They got the grinder, it's so gruesome, the blood and everything, and poor poor Conker walking into the wrong wrong place at the wrong time. Wait, can I not go in here? Or can I not go in as a bat? Okay, I'm flying, I think. But I'm going backwards. And I don't know why. <laughs> okay. Um, how do I... Okay. It's kind of like swimming, I guess. Can I fly in here? I can. And I can use sonar. I believe I need to... What? Did I just... I can drop a, a dung bomb, I guess. Alright, alright. I'm down. <laughs> it's pretty interesting. Am I, am I using sonar for something? Let's see, what's happening over here? Oh my. Bit of a death trap, it seems. My apologies to those of you who get motion sick. This is probably not the easiest to watch. What's going on out here? Oh, I see our friend. So I think I need to, um... Scare him in the right direction. But it also seems I need to avoid getting hit myself. I wonder how effectively I can actually hit them. So there are a bunch of them out here. So, all right, how do I want to do this? If I, I need to lead them in here and then in here. Okay. And really, either door will do. But the key here is going to be that I fly faster than they run. So I need to be careful about the pace at which I move. And these guys have not healed, or they're in the process of healing now from their, their dung bomb battles. Where did the other one go? I wish I had a mini-map, honestly. What's going on? That That's a pretty cool looking moon. I like that. Alright, well... Because I see you, we will hone in on you. How do I get it to run? Run away, will ya? Hmm. So it looks like he does an attack and then runs a bit. So we'll wait for him to turn around, dodge the attack, and then charge at him again. Alright, that's, uh, you know, working out just fine. What, what could possibly be going better than what it's currently doing? So we've cornered him there. We'll get out of the way so that we can then push him back towards the maze. Nope, 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 nope. 
Where did he go? I didn't even see him. Alright, sorry, Bat Conquer. Oh, and that's another game over? Wow. Alright, well, hopefully we just start at the Bat part again. Yeah, okay, well that's nice at least. And now I have a good idea of where to go. We can go out this way. But I'm not exactly sure how to push them in the right direction. Let's see if there's there's nobody over this way. If they start on that outer perimeter, right, how do I get them in the position I want them? I think I need to work, you know, from the from the inside out. So this guy is in good spot. What the hit? So if we go this way, where did wait, where did he go? Aw oh, man. Already had a deficit. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here, fly around, and wait patiently for this other guy to show up. There we go. We're gonna run at him. He misses. So we push him this way again. We dodge. No, don't run that way. Come on. Move. What? Thought I dodged that, but I guess not. Okay, and we're taking heavy damage. So something is not right here. Um, what do I need to do? Let's see, if I hit them with the... <laughs> with the poop like that, can I do something to them afterwards? I can pick them up. That is what I needed to know. Okay. That makes a world of a difference, because it's a lot easier to hit them with the poop than it is to round them up. So now more than anything, I just need to make sure that I'm not too close to other ones when I try to pick them up. <laughs> Sorry, bud. But, you know, I got priorities. As in, Conker cares most about himself. And wow, they just grind and pump the blood and mixture. Oh, man, that's, that's gross. At the same time, this kind of reminds me of, like, Sweeney Todd. I've only heard a synopsis of the story for that. I actually need to see more of that. It's a musical, right? Okay. Where are the others? We're gonna drop a bunch of uh, poop bombs here. And... <laughs> oh, we're dodging! Did you guys see that they have somewhat of a homing element to them? That's pretty interesting, isn't it? Alright, let's pick this guy up. No, oh, come on! Come on, come on, come on, pick him up! Nice! Run! Or fly! Conquer! Oh man, I really wish I could get some chocolate, because I think I only have like one or two pieces of chocolate, which means I'm now working and spending all this time doing this when there's a very real chance I end up getting a death and have to start over, but not the end of the world. I will do my best. For some reason, looking at the upside down bat, it reminds me of like a Looney Tunes, like a Bugs Bunny sort of drawing. Art style, I guess? Not sure. But anyways, this is pretty neat. Now that I've got an idea of how things actually work. Alright. Air Raid, coming in. I think we got one of them, right? So let's take this guy while we can. And we're off. What's pretty nice is that once we have them and we're clear of, you know, their friends, <laughs> there's really not a whole lot to worry about. I thought we'd have to be hunting them throughout the whole house, and luckily we don't have to do that at the moment. Right? Because there are a whole bunch of different rooms that we've seen so far. That I was flying through in my first few attempts. Alright, so down goes that guy. Oh my goodness! That is hilarious. So first of all, I didn't realize that there would be more of them in these individual rooms. So that's good to know, I guess. Um, no, 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 no. Pick them up. Oh, man. Alright, alright. Did we get them? We did. Okay, good. But yeah, it's pretty funny that I guess as we feed him more, he becomes heavier and that rope is then going to break and he's going to fall into the meat grinder. Which is pretty funny. 
I wonder how many more we need to bring, though. This seems like a little bit of a shorter path, so I'll just do this for now. And I think we hit him. Did we? I can't see. Yep, we did. Okay, lovely. Off we go. I wonder if five will be enough. Let's we'll see, is that a switch up there? I don't know. Either way, there's five. Oh my goodness, you're looking rather rotund there. Okay, so we've got to get a few more. A couple more, probably. Ascend! Ascend, Bat Conquer! And look around. Do I see any more? I didn't see any in here originally, which is why I was kind of surprised. I think we got someone. The, uh... The sonar things only activate, I think, when we're near one of them. So I think you have to get a certain, you know, depth close to the ground, close to them, in order to actually see them. But it seems like there's, you know, there are plenty of them in a, a bunch of different rooms. Alright. There's another one. Sorry guys, just looking out for number one here. <laughs> Um, let's see. Sonar. For what it's worth, I know there are probably a lot more in other areas, but I'm trying to... I wonder if that web will actually hurt me. No, it doesn't seem so. I was trying to stick to areas that I'd already taken a few people from, because then my likelihood of running or, you know, getting hit while getting someone else is going to be a bit lower. But it seems like they respawn anyways, actually. So, we'll just get this guy. And that should do it. And I hear that crying in the background again. Okay. In here we go. I would bet that this is the last one for now. We'll go to the right this time for the sake of it. Congress getting quite in the workout with all those flapping going on. Although I wonder, how will we transform back? Right? I thought the vampire would be able to, but I guess... I guess not. Oh my goodness! Yikes, and now that pump is gonna go nuts. Oh, I guess we just magically turn back. Every day. <sighs> oh. Another zombie. More zombies. Ah, more zombies. Time for the double barrel boy. Hopefully for the last time. I feel you, Conquer. I feel you. So I presume I need to just take out more zombies. In the house, I guess? I'll look around. How much health do I have? Not... not a lot. Not a lot, but some. So we'll do what we can with what we got, I guess. Let's go to the different rooms. Hmm, I'm curious here. Is there a way for me to easily get back up? There is. Oh, there are these bats, too. Which I guess shouldn't be surprising, right? This is Dracula's home or whatever. It looked like there's a switch here. Oh, it's a context sensitive button. Oh, and it's a crossbow? Am I supposed to shoot these guys? Oh, yes, I believe so. And that was a very close call. Oh, and it's got a laser. What? I'm probably being attacked from one corner. Yeah, that I don't realize yet. Okay, we got you over here. I need to up my sensitivity because, well, it, there's like so much inertia. Anyone else? Anyone? What's the purpose of doing this? Is there a purpose? Is it just to get rid of the bats for my own ease of moving around? Is there a zombie next to me now? There's probably a zombie on the lower floor. 
Well, all right, I guess. Where is the zombie? Not there. Hmm. Over this way, maybe? I don't know. Maybe I'm not close enough to the ground to, to actually see them. Yep, there we go. Oh my goodness! There are a bunch of them down here. So, let's see here. Oh, come on. Alright, well that wasn't incredibly effective. Oh, great, 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 great. Now we've just got one chocolate bar, now we got to run a bunch. How many zombies am I going to have to kill? Alright, let's turn around, aim, and fire. And we did not get the shot I needed. Okay. Anybody there? No. There should be a couple more this way, right? I can't... I can only strafe. Where are you? Oh, there you are. We'll run. Or start running, rather. I wonder if I go up here, if I'm relatively safe, right? I wonder if they can actually attack me while I'm up here. Might be helpful to have this high ground then. Take advantage of the slope. I'm curious, what's going on in this room? Oh my goodness, a zombie. Another zombie. And another zombie. Am I really... Don't tell me I'm going to have to get rid of all of them. Please don't tell me I have to get rid of all of them. There's a barrel. Okay. Barrel. Barrel, please. Barrel, come on. You got to work with me here. Oh, man. I want to ride that barrel. What if I, like, jump up here on this rail? I'm probably relatively safe up here. Yeah, I think so. However, I can't really do much from up here. So that's going to be a no-go from me. Alright. Well, I guess as long as I'm off of, like, the main ground, I can't really be hit. The ground's, like, shaking. <laughs> okay, so it seems like they're all on the main ground. The ground level. So we'll go ahead and do that. I really wish I could use that barrel. That would be really helpful. Let's see here. Can I... Oh no! I thought my tail was a zombie! That would have been bad! Alright, let's uh, drag him over here, I guess. Can I please use you? Alright, they're stuck on that part of the stairwell, which is nice. Are there any more from other directions? Doesn't seem so. Do I have to shoot you to activate you or what? Hello? Hello? Aw, oh, man. Can I leave? No, I don't think so. Alright, well, there's a zombie over there. Can I snipe from the stairwell? Yeah, I wish I, I, wish I had a sniper rifle, not a shotgun. It's not like I... Alright. That worked, I think. I should confirm my kill. And that's why. Darn it, that was not a headshot. But that should have been. It's not like I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna walk away. There's probably gonna be a zombie or two. Or three, even, in here. Look at that. This is that ancestor I was talking about before. That is one wicked looking squirrel. I don't know if that's a reference or not. If it is, it's a pretty cool one and I'd be curious to know what it's a reference to. Anything going on in this room? No zombies? Really? No zombies in this room. I might be able to make that jump, but I also very well might not. So honestly, probably just not gonna risk it. There are some more zombies. I hope they're not outdoors, because if so, then we'll have to do a lot of searching to find them. I also really dislike that I only have one chocolate right now. Because if I have to go around and redo all of the zombie hunting, 
It ain't gonna be good, guys. Just gotta listen, okay? I think that should have done it, but it did not. Is that it? Nope. We gotta hunt more. Alright, there's one down here. We will line up our shot. At the very least, we have more room to work with. Which is making a big difference. These should be headshots. There we go. I mean, it is a shotgun, so again, it doesn't have perfect accuracy by any means. But... Alright, we took care of those zombies. Are there any more in here? I don't hear any. None over here. That is a death trap. There shouldn't be any this way either, right? This is the meat grinder. So maybe the next question is, are they outside? And I think that's going to be our answer, is that they're outside. Ah, oh, man, I should take the long way around. With the little amount of health I have left and the ability to recover, I don't want to take the risk of attempting to platform and just missing and dying. So, we'll walk this way. And if I recall correctly, the outdoor platform area or whatever should be this way. But at the same time, hmm... I'm curious, what's going on over this way? This should be the entrance, right? Yeah. Am I gonna... Do I get something for killing all the zombies? I would think so. But I don't really know, I guess, do I? Doesn't seem like anything over here. Where are the other zombies, guys? Am I waiting for, uh, can I interact with you? No, that's just, that's totally for on the way out, right? That would make the most sense. Oh, here we go. What? I swear I got you. Or was there just another one? Either way, it looks like there's a hidden door underneath the stairwell there. Okay, is that it? Please, please be it. Nope. I guess not. Can I go down here? Nope. We'll keep walking around, I guess. Looking for zombies. I'll head over this way again, because I didn't really see much going on over here. Wait, I thought this was a dead end last time. I guess this leads outdoors. Alright. Let's check what's going on. Oh, no! Okay. So he died. And the zombies are back. All of them. All of the zombies are back. Alright, guys. I, um... I am just going to edit, and um, when I am done finding all of the zombies and shooting them, or if there's some other revelation I have, I will let you guys know. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, I can't find any more of anything to do in here. Maybe... Did I just come out that way? This is this room. I'll check that other room over there. Otherwise, what I'm going to do is try to drop down below there into the areas that lead outside. But I'll check this area first. This is where the, the last zombies were. Um, okay. 
all right all right well, here's what we're gonna do we are going to I thought i saw i swear i saw a zombie over here huh like i swear i saw a second zombie over here all right well um where are the bats they're over there okay I don't hear the zombies, so I'll keep an ear out, I guess. To make sure they're not coming up behind me. Getting awfully close, buddy. Anything behind me? No? So I think at that point we've defeated all of the bats. And maybe one of the zombies, like, glitched out or something? I'll head over this way. See if there's anything going on over here. A key. A key. Okay. This is arguably to the front door. So we'll very, very carefully do this. Did I not even have to hunt down all those zombies? Or was it just for clearing my own path? It's probably just for clearing my own path. If so, then how in the world was I supposed to know to look for a key? It made it seem like I had to get rid of all the zombies. Oh well. So we'll go a, a long way around here. It is worth noting that we are walking a little bit more slowly than normal while holding the key. So maybe it would have been really difficult, if not impossible, to actually evade the zombies while holding the key. And thus necessitating, um, you know, this. But at the same time, I wish it was more, I really wish it was more apparent that I was supposed to be looking for the key and not just trying to hunt down all of the zombies. And now, I'd imagine the bats would be attacking me if they were alive while I'm holding the key. And that's why those um, pads are necessary. But alright, we'll walk on down. And we should be good. The real question is, where is the front door? It's not there, I don't think. This way should lead me to the front door, if I recall correctly. What? What? I swear I killed you. I went around this house. I went around this castle so many times, guys. <laughs> so many times. I swear I got you. But whatever. We are at the front door. With the key. And that should free us. Wait, what? So that didn't even that didn't even open the front door? How does that work? Let me let me check just to be safe. Nope. And I mean it has three keyholes, I guess. But I really thought that would be our escape. Okay, so there was that one area. I think it actually wasn't this way though. It was the other way. Because we died in that once. What? I swear, you guys. I swear that I killed so many zombies. I have killed so many zombies. And they're just coming back. Or I guess this room wasn't as populated before. Oh, if I'm going to have to carry another key back across this, I'm going to have to kill those zombies too. Man, why is there no chocolate in this area? Alright, well, well, we'll take care of the zombie while we can, I guess. Alright, we'll let him get a little bit closer. And then we'll keep on walking. Seems there are going to be a bunch of zombies out here, too. Oh, I'm probably going to have to clear out that dining room, too. Yep, so there's... Can I jump on this? I can. Lovely. I can probably take out some of the zombies like this. Which is nice. You know, from the vantage point up here. But I would bet now that I'm going to have to get three different keys. And they're all going to have to, you know, I'm going to have to clear some paths in order to actually do it. 
But okay. Oh, uh, man, wow, there are so many zombies just waiting for me. I'd like to think that I'm immune while I'm up here. I think I'm gonna bank on that for now. We got you, right? Yeah, you should be dead. Dead? Undead? Both? In between? Not sure. So I hear you. Well, I don't think I actually really need to worry about you if I just go out the other way. So for the time being, that is what we will do. I guess we'll also find out relatively quickly. Can I, can I please see, camera? <laughs> if we're able to outspeed zombies while doing this. I can't jump, which was very helpful. All right, so we'll go around this way. And see how this goes. Can I drop the key? No, I can't. So, oh boy, guys. Wish me luck. I hope, if I die here, I really hope I don't have to get the first key again. That would be really unfun. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna just have to sprint. And keep in mind that the zombies are gonna be hidden, and they're gonna come into gameplay, spawn into gameplay, I guess, once I get close to them. Oh, they're pretty close to being able to catch up to me. This hallway is gonna be rough, guys. Alright, so we'll do that, and then we'll bait them onto this side. Ooh, they've got me cornered! Bobbing and weaving, bobbing and weaving! Okay, it at least confirms that, one, we can actually evade them while holding the key. That's actually really nice to know. So what is this gonna unlock? Yep, so there's the second one. And that is a ladder leading to some chocolate! Which is much, much appreciated. Wow, this episode is going on for quite some time, too. Hope you guys are still enjoying it. <laughs> I know my experience has been a little bit less than ideal, and that's it's also been a little bit longer than yours. Now, where is that ladder? Can I... Camera! I can't see anything. I'm going to die. Camera. Hello. I can't see anything. I'll just hug this wall, I guess, until I walk in this room. Oh my goodness. Where is that ladder? It's over there. Okay, so we'll walk around here if the camera for or, uh, permits it. <laughs> and luckily, we'll finally be able to heal up a bit too, which is very much appreciated. So what's going on on the third floor? And how can we connect, you know, because part of this is that we're presumably going to be getting a third and final key, right? And it's over there. How are we going to get back down from there? I don't know. Can I see where I'm trying to go? Thank you. So we'll drop down here. Very gently walk this way. Am I supposed to go the other way? Doesn't seem like it. I'm going to have to go across this at some point, so... Okay, big jump, and we're across. Lovely, so we'll pick up the key, and now there's no turning back. So we'll walk across. These textures are awfully shaky. I don't know if that was the case in the original or not. This is gonna take me up? What? Hello? Can I? Excuse me? Alright, well, this is problematic. Maybe I wasn't supposed to come here from this direction? Ah, you know what? You're That's totally it. And now I can't even get back up there? So what I'm, I'm sure what I was supposed to do is platform off of that in order to activate that switch. And that'll open up the doorway, but now I can't get rid of the key. Hit that button, hit that button, hit that button, hit that button, hit this button, hit this button, this button, this button. Yeah, there's there's nothing I can do except potentially fall and, and hurt myself. Yeah. Lovely. Great. <laughs> Great design. 
All right, so we'll run across and we'll activate that switch this time before we grab the key. And hope for the best. All right, we've safely landed. Now I've got to hover on over. Is that something I can shoot at? It kind of looks like it, right? But I guess not. It's just the, the wood texture. All right, we made it up here. Here is another switch. Can I grab onto it? Okay. So we opened up a couple different doors. Hopefully they're connected. <laughs> Hopefully that door on the side just takes us straight over there um, to underneath the stairwell. That would make life a lot nicer. All right, we're gonna get close and then big jump and hover across to no avail. So we'll take some damage and try our best to carry on anyways. But yeah, it'll be really nice if we get teleported there because then, well, we did see that there are gonna be zombies. We'll have a little bit of a straight run there, which will be nice. I kinda just wanna jump over here onto this. Hope my depth perception is right. And I think we're in the clear. Okay. Now that we've got that, we can finally walk over. I like the textures on the wall that have like the little Dracula vampire-esque symbols. They're pretty neat looking. Lovely. All right, mad dash for the door, Conker. I believe in you. You can do it. Sprint with all your might. The final key, and then we can ride our barrel friend down. And where is all this cash? We haven't found any cash yet. Finally. Oh yeah, I forgot about those guys. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. All right, let's uh, let's rock and roll, or rather, let's do a do a barrel roll. This would have been nice to have to kill a lot of the zombies. So right now it's controlling like a normal 3D sort of thing, but uh, oh my goodness, this is going to be this is going to be a thing, guys. <laughs> this is going to be an experience. Can I move the camera at least? Okay, I can, which is nice. No, already. Already game? Already? Alright, well, I, I hope, I would bet that it saves my progress after getting the three keys, right? So even if I game over here, which is um, incredibly likely, <laughs> there's a very good chance I'll just be brought back here in order to do this again. I'm going to try to take this as slowly as I can. He naturally gains speed a bit, so I'm going to just focus on tilting left or right rather than actually going forward along the path. Oh, man. Oh, come on, Conker. That was, that was very close. <laughs> that was very close. Way too close for comfort. So I've made it here. Do I need to do anything special with the barrel here? Maybe? Seems like it, so I guess I guess I'll keep on going. Keep on rolling along. Okay. Is it something for the catfish, maybe? I don't know. Do I go in the water with it? I can go in the water with it. Well, that's pretty neat. So I don't think I go that way then. I don't think I go that way either. I guess I'll try going up this way and see if that leads me anywhere interesting. We'll see if I'm actually allowed to go up here. And it seems like I can. I don't know if I needed that barrel to be up here or not. I guess we'll see. Oh, there's some cash. This is oh, this is that cash behind the waterfall. Awesome. Yo, you want some great stuff? So we finally got that. Kind of check that off my mental list. 
There's our gargoyle friend. Don't take me back to the beginning. Please take me back to the spooky area. Okay, good. So now the question is... Did we need that barrel? Are we done in that area? We made it out alive. We didn't find any cash. And it looks like those doors are closed now. So, I don't... I don't know. I want to go back over just to make sure those doors are closed. Because if they are, either we're in a pretty bad predicament and we screwed up the game, or the game is telling us to move onward. And I'm glad we came back here because the game is has the doors open and is very much telling us to take our barrel with us. And we need to go somewhere with it. And it wasn't up there, so I'd imagine it's downstream. So that's where we'll go next. Sorry, ladies. I've got a barrel to roll. Where would we even... Where would we bring this, though? I'd imagine I just need to take it far enough and then a cutscene will take over, but... Wait, what? No barrel. No barrel? What do I do with the barrel, then? I've got to be missing something. There's no way we went through that whole experience without getting any cash. I can try to bring the barrel that way, but... Is it for ease of going back, or what? I'll try going back the way we came with the barrel. And if that doesn't do anything interesting, I'm probably just going to look it up before I spend... You know, the rest of my night trying to look up what to do with this barrel. Or potentially making it more difficult for myself to go back and collect whatever cash I did earn from this experience, so... Let's see here. <laughs> Conquer's doing a pretty good job of balancing on it. And it broke. Alright, I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> Alright, I guess... I don't need to do anything else? I think, um... Instead of going back here... There's that area that I couldn't access before, which I thought was an invisible wall due to progress, but it turns out I actually couldn't get up because of the current. And so I need that barrel in order to access that area, and that's where I need to continue to go to get back to the uh, main overworld area. Which is pretty surprising, because I had expected to get a lot of cash, right? Didn't even Greg, didn't Greg mention that these ancestors had a lot of cash, so we didn't find any cash in here. Just in the waterfall spot, close to the beginning of the game. But I guess that's where we have to go, so that's where we'll go. I believe in you, Conquer. Don't lose your balance, don't lose your cool. All right. So this is where we found that money. And then, ah, oh, they did the thing again. Where they put the entrance to something in the opposite direction of the, you know, the direction you'll come out. Okay, so there's the gargoyle. And I guess we'll see what happens when we go out this way. See if there's anything interesting. We're at the beginning again. Anything new? Intriguing? I, uh, I guess not. Maybe once we get back to the main overworld, there'll be something that's different because we've done all that stuff. Will it still be nighttime? Probably not. Will it be daytime then, I guess? Potentially. It would be kind of odd, though, to really get no cash for that, that whole experience. I mean... I mean, the game's not all about cash, right? The, the true highlight of this game is the the funny parts, right? The cutscenes, the characters, the voice acting, etc. The, the ludicrous nature of the game. But... The Midday Feral War. <laughs> Alright, here we go. In other news, King Bee's Love Triangle. That's right. It's war once again. Your country needs you now, boys. We have 
fighting an enemy like we have never encountered before. So, are those bears? Where they have come from, I do not know. But we need to send them back to wherever it was they came from. We need you, soldier. Yes, you. Sign up at your nearest signing up station. There should be one near you. But remember, soldier, your country will be indebted to you. <laughs> All right, it looks like we've got our next set of quests to go um, and find. Got to sign up for war, I guess, which should be pretty interesting. Again, I'm shocked we didn't get any cash from that. But the spooky experience was overall pretty cool. I didn't like that the game sort of led you to believe that you needed to kill all of the zombies and that was a bit frustrating but for the most part i really like the spooky environments right i like those levels and i thought it was really funny with the you know the dracula bat and falling into the grinder and everything so overall it was a cool level and i hope you guys enjoyed it just as much as i did hopefully more than i did even actually and i hope you guys are looking forward to the next one where we sign up for i don't know the military of some sort but until the next episode, this has been Night Zero, and this mission is complete. <laughs>